Hey folks, welcome to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network podcast. I am your host, Lewis Carlin. We are heard right here on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. And if you don't already subscribe to our YouTube channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We have lots of great content on there already, more great content on the way. So if you don't subscribe, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do subscribe, thank you very much. And I want to do a shout out right now uh, to uh, one of our subscribers. I want to do a shout out to Brad. B-R-A-D, Brad. Thank you very much. Uh, he recently subscribed to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network YouTube channel. Thank you very much, Brad. Just, uh, just it. Just Brad. That's his name. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Check him out. He's on YouTube as well. Okay, so let's get into it. Diona Perrazzo. Diona Perrazzo has stated that she wants to face AEW Women's Champion Hikaru Shida in a title versus title match. So Impact Wrestling Knockouts Champion Diona Perrazzo wants Hikaru Shida in a title versus title match. Reading this off WrestleTalk.com, it states Impact Knockouts Champion Diona Perrazzo wants to face AEW Women's Champion Hikaru Shida with both titles on the line. At Impact Rebellion, Kenny Omega and Rich Swan wrestled with both Impact World and AEW World Championships up for grabs. Perrazzo has recently asked if the male stars can have a title versus title match. Why not the women? And uh, she wants uh, she wants Sheeta one on one uh, Impact Wrestling. I'm sorry, Impact Knockouts title versus the AEW Women's title. And I agree with Diona Perrazzo 100. percent I agree with her 100. percent Perrazzo is definitely one of the best wrestlers in the world, and Sheeta is just beating everybody left and right in AEW. Why not have two of the best in the world go one on one with both titles on the line? I agree with Diona Perrazzo. I would love to see that. I would absolutely love to see that. I think that would be an absolutely tremendous match. And I think it's definitely something that should be considered. I mean, they kicked in the um, forbidden door. Uh, and it shouldn't just be for the men. It should be for the women as well. I personally would love to see Tay Conte show up on Impact Wrestling and get in uh, Perrazzo's face and challenge her for the title. And Perrazzo uh, defeats Conte. And then we have Perrazzo showing up on AEW going after Shida and uh, setting up a title versus title match. And I think it should be in an AEW ring. Uh, they did the Kenny Omega, uh, Rich Swan uh, match, of course, in, the, in an Impact Wrestling ring. We're not seeing really too many Impact Wrestling stars showing up in AEW. We've seen quite a few show AEW stars show up in Impact, but we haven't seen too many Impact stars show up in AEW. And I would love to see Perazzo to be that to be that first Impact Wrestling superstar showing up in AEW and challenging AEW stars and just actually just not even challenging AEW stars, going right after Hikaru Shida and um, trying to set up a title versus title match. That would just be absolutely tremendous. Would just be an absolutely tremendous match. And I hope uh, I hope Tony Khan read this article. I hope Scott Demore, Don Callis, Tony Khan, I hope they've read this article. And I hope it's something that they're considering. Because again, with the forbidden door open, it can't just be for men. It's got to be for women also. I mean, we've seen a lot of Kenny Omega on Impact Wrestling. He's now the Impact Wrestling World Champion. They got to do something with the women. We have to have title versus title. Uh, it, it has to, in my opinion, it's something that, that should happen. Because it would be, like I said, just an absolutely killer match between two of the top stars in the world today. Perrazzo, ever since she came to Impact Wrestling, she has proven herself as one of the absolute best in the world. Not just best women wrestler, best wrestler in the world. And she is just just fantastic. I don't see her losing that Impact Wrestling World, um, Impact Wrestling Knockouts title uh, for, for a very long time. I think she's going to hold that title for a very, very, very long time. And uh, I think if they have her face Sheena, I would, I, I would have Peraza win. I would have Peraza be uh, take the AEW Women's Title and defend it on both shows. I think she's talented enough to do that. I think um, she can do that with the scheduling. Uh, she could definitely uh, pull that off. And I, I would love to see Peraza running through AEW challenges and Impact Wrestling challenges. I think it would be just, just fantastic. And hopefully we will see this. We will see this in the near future. Speaking of Perazzo, uh, she talked about some of the WWE talent that she wants in Impact Wrestling. Uh, this is uh, SESScoops.com. Says Impact Wrestling's champion Diana Perazzo. D 
Diona Perazzo will face Tennille Dashwood at Rebellion. That's already happened. Uh, she's actually, uh, let me scroll down. Um, okay, everyone ha everyone that this happened to last year, myself included, uh, this is uh, Diona Perazzo talking to uh, Busted, uh, Busted Open Radio. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. She was interviewed on Busted Open Radio, and uh, she was quoted as saying, everyone that this happened to last year, myself included, has found a new home and landed on their feet and been successful. She's talking about release WWE superstars. Um, so I think this had to do, uh, so I think this had this had to happen with, to the next round of people. And we set a template of what's going to be okay. You'll be successful and thrive wherever you land. Obviously, I, obviously I want my best friend, Chelsea Green, to come back to Impact Wrestling. Mickey James, a former knockouts champion. And I would also love to see Cassie and Billy, Peyton Royce, Billy Kay, as individuals and as a tag team. I think of those four, we would benefit tremendously and vice versa. And I agree again with Diona Perazzo. I agree with her 100%. If they could, and I've talked about this in past podcasts, if they could bring in Green, James, um, uh, Casey uh, Peyton Royce. I think she's, I forgot. She's it's Casey. Can't remember what her she's going by. What last name she's using now? Uh, but Peyton Royce. I'll use her name, Peyton Royce, and Billy Kay. If they all show up, appear in Impact Wrestling, those four, that Knockouts division will be hands down, without a doubt, the best women's division in all of professional wrestling. It's it's just about there right now. If not, it's already there, but to get those four would even cement it even further that it's the best women's division in all of professional wrestling. And that would be four new fresh challengers for Deanna Perrazzo. And it would just be fantastic, man. Absolutely fantastic if, if uh, Scott Demore and Don Callis Impact Wrestling could bring those four in. That would be absolutely tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. So um, I gotta agree with uh, Perazzo here on um, on uh, both things. One uh, with uh, AEW versus Impact Wrestling Women's Title Unification match. They should definitely get that going. And I definitely agree with uh, Perazzo on the four people that she feels that um, the four knockouts that she feels Impact Wrestling should uh, bring in. Just think. Um, I'm just thinking. Perazzo against Chelsea Green, uh, Mickey James showing up. Um, Perazzo against Mickey James, you know, Peyton Royce, Billy Kay, put them as a tag team. Uh, put them as a tag team as first and go after the Impact Wrestling Knockouts tag team titles and put the belts on them and have them hold the belts for a while. I think that would be tremendous. And then eventually they could be challenges for Perazzo because right now Perazzo is going to have her hands full with Taylor Wilde. That's, that's, the, that's the next challenger they're pushing for Perazzo, but they get these four. And then after she defeats these four, if she could get that match with uh, Sheeta, AEW versus Impact Wrestling, knockouts and women's title on the line. Oh my God. Oh my God. That would just be tremendous. Just be tremendous. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. And on that note, I'm going to say thank you very much for listening to me today. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. This is the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network podcast. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye bye.